What's up guys, it's the Jam Expert and today we are going to talk about Tanzanite. Let's go! Tanzanite became the second most famous gemstone for the color blue. Many people associate this color with a light violet blue color, but this is not always the case since Tanzanite comes in a variety of colors, like rare green to brown and yellow colors, but also deep sapphire blue colors. Tanzanite can be only found in Tanzania, Africa, which makes it quite rare. This is also the origin of the name. Tanzanite was first discovered in the late 1960s. It was controlled by Tiffany & Co, who gave it its name and were also the first true marketers of the gemstone. In 2018, the Tanzanite wall was built to keep the mines under the government's control. All Tanzanite gemstones will be controlled and will pass through one gate. And he, Magufuli, ordered the Central Bank of Tanzania to take part in the Tanzanite buying trade. A statement from the presidency said. Tanzanite is a name for the mineral zoisite. One other version of zoisite is aneolite or ruby and zoisite. These green, red, opaque mineral specimens are known in the mineral trade. You might know these green red mineral specimens. Tanzanite is less hard than sapphire and also less conductive, with a hardness of only 6 to 6.5 compared to sapphire and ruby at 9. Here's a short video how to detect tanzanite with a cheap diamond tester. How to test most common blue gemstones. Blue tanzanite, spinel and sapphire have very similar colors. How do I separate these stones? You will need a $10 diamond tester from AliExpress. There's no need to buy a machine for a couple hundred dollars since it does the same thing. I tried all versions of it and it's not worth it. What you do need is this graph. Let the tester heat up and measure the stones. Tanzanite is the least conductive. Then comes spinel, then comes sapphire. Now you only need a UV light and a microscope to tell whether it's synthetic or not. Tanzanite has no synthetic counterpart on the market. Like and share if I was able to help you. Tanzanite is most of the time not UV reactive. Tanzanite can be heated to change color or increase color. Cognac colored stones can be heated and turned into light blue stones. They can be oiled as well to fill surface reaching fractures and create the appearance of a better crystal structure. Since there is already blue sapphire and this mineral can only be found in one place, I don't think that Tanzanite will ever become a bigger blue gemstone and I personally would not recommend you putting your money into it unless it's a very good deal. Now the most important info about Tanzanite. Tanzanite is one of the only trichroic minerals in the world. That means it has two optic axes. It can display up to three different colors depending on the angle it's viewed at. Look at this amazing footage of a rough crystal displaying this one-of-a-kind phenomenon. This and only this makes Tanzanite comparable to other world-class gems. If you can get your hands on one of these rare biaxial crystals, you have something every gemologist would love to own. That's all I have to say about Tanzanite since Tanzanite is most often not the most exciting gemstone when it comes to color. I will say that it's a nice try to market a niche mineral to consumers that don't have enough money or not enough contact resources to afford blue sapphire. Like, share and subscribe if you have learned something about Tanzanite today. I'm the Jam Expert and I'm out. Bye.